Okay. Okay, what's up guys? We're looking at the iPod 4th generation running iOS 6.1.3 versus the iPhone 4 with iOS 7 and as you guys can see there's a big difference one's my dad's cell phone and one's my iPod and as you can see the difference there's really not a whole lot of difference why besides when you go you swipe from the if I can get it you swipe from the bottom you have the ability to get your flashlight timer calendar pictures and at the top you have your toggles for Wi-Fi, ignore the airplane mode, you have your music, and over here, you actually still have to go to the settings, then you go scroll down, and as you can see the difference between this, Google would like to use the microphone, okay. So when you double tap on the home screen, as you can see right here, it brings up that card feature, something like you would see in the old Palm Pre WebOS, which is a very cool thing. And to be honest, when you look at the dial pad, I think the dial pad looks stupid. The bubbles, I, I'm just not feeling that bubble feature. And if you look at the top of the screen right up here, when I zoom in, you can see it shows the battery, the battery life over here, which is 95%. And on the other side of the screen, you have just two little lines, two little lines, and it shows that I have three bars of service so like I said I don't like that bubble look of the keypad that's just my uh, personal preference so what you do is when you double tap you can just swipe up swipe up and then swipe up and then you have the home screen right here which you can't swipe up which I was like oh okay but overall it has the same look and feel and for someone who's not very tech savvy, would iOS 7 be a noticeable upgrade from iOS 6? I would have to say, yeah, it's a very noticeable update. But for a hardcore like tech nerd, they're not going to be overly impressed with it. And someone like myself. But I'll be completely honest. Coming from Android over to iOS 7... Would that make me switch from using my Samsung Galaxy S4 over to an iPhone? Probably not because this still has the same look and feel as something like iOS 6 that's running on my iPod. There's a few features that are uh, cool. The ability to use the card feature when you go like, okay, I want to close that. Then you go double tap and you have the ability just to swipe up. That is a cool feature. I love I love the card feature. But let me go all the way. Okay, there is no search anymore. Let's see something. Okay, I guess there is no feature for searching anymore. Unless there is up here missed calls. No, no. Okay, well, if you guys know of any way that you can do search, because I used to do, like, use the little search function on my iPod, as I'll demonstrate right over here. You have the ability to go over here and go, okay, you want to do, like, a voice memo. And it would pop up, and it would start allowing you to do voice memos. But I guess iOS 7 does not have that feature, or I just haven't figured it out yet. But with that being said, so I'm going to be straight up honest with you guys. Is this a noticeable update for someone who is very into technology, like someone who uses Android or iOS on a regular basis? I don't really think it's that great of an upgrade, but for someone, like I said, like my dad or just someone like an average person who's not into tech, they just want their phone to work and work well, I would highly recommend people uh, using it. 
and enjoying it. it has a, a couple cool features. The uh, card feature is a, is a very great feature. It comes from WebOS. But um, with that being said, it's very minimalistic. It works. It works well. That's a great thing with Apple. You know when you're getting an Apple device, it's going to work right out the box. There's going to be no lag whatsoever. And this was running on an iPhone 4. So you guys can tell it was running very smoothly. It's an 8 gigabyte iPhone 4, so there's no problem with it running whatsoever. But um, yeah, guys, is it going to make me switch from my Android over to iOS? Probably not, because I love the way Android, you can really customize the hell out of it. But for someone who's just a regular dude or a regular girl who just goes in the Apple store and picks up the phone, she's going to be very happy with the upgrade. So... I'll definitely talk to you guys in the next video, but that's just my honest opinion. Do I love the upgrade? For my personal opinion, no, but I see what Apple's doing, and it's going to keep a lot of hardcore Apple fanboys uh, very happy. I'll see you guys in the next video.